Mike is a PI whose latest case might just put him in the grave. It was a VIP case, dig up info on the murder of one of the founders of ACES, a famed vigilante group. Now the man who hired Mike is in the hospital and there are goons knocking at his door. With the help of a mysterious pulp hero, he'll have to trail clues across a crime-ridden city and crack the case before one of his many enemies gets too close. Fallen Aces is an FPS with graphical and design elements drawn from the 90s, with Duke Nukem 3D being a definite inspiration. You move like Duke, you fight like Duke, with one very notable exception. Mike is a born brawler. Firearms are rare and ammunition is scarce, so most of the combat is up close and personal. The player needs to acquire weapons on site, so you're more likely to head into a fight packing an empty bottle or a trash can than a gun or a blade. The resulting combat is very visceral and just plain meaty. There are a lot of ways to approach combat besides going in head on, though that certainly works. Mike has a stealth takedown for dealing with unaware targets, as well as a kick that can knock an enemy into a hazard. Fallen Aces is a game with a play-it-how-you-want design philosophy, right down to its levels which are very large and have multiple routes and lots of secrets. Brute force, stealth, spectacle, and pacifism are all viable approaches, depending on the circumstances and the player's own personality. Ultimately, Fallen Aces strikes a very fine balance, featuring old-school design sensibilities while continuing to innovate and push the limits. It's bound to appeal to fans of early first-person shooters, but the emphasis on melee and environmental combat will also be a treat for anyone looking for something new from the genre.